No one likes cloudy headlights, but how do you go from this cloudy, messed up headlight to this without spending hours of labor and lots of money? This is how I do this in three minutes for about 50 cents in materials. This is how I do this in real time. What materials do I use? Paper towels. Now shop towels work better, but you can use any towels you want. Window cleaner, also known as blue juice. This is to clean the headlights. You gotta get the bugs, you gotta get the wrong grime, and any other stuff that got on the headlights, you have to get that off so that it doesn't interfere. Now this can be skipped if the headlight is already clean. Let's say you've already gone through a car wash or something like that. Then you don't have to sit there and scrub this as much. Make sure you get all the junk off so there's no debris sticking to the headlight. Once that is clean, Next, I use steel wool. This is 4 aught steel wool. This is to clean off loose plastic and other debris that may have stuck to the headlight. The foggier the headlight is, the better that this works. Just get it all cleaned off. If there is a coating on the plastic, it has to be removed. Otherwise, the whole process won't work. Stay tuned to the rest of this video to see how that is done. After cleaning it with steel wool, again, wash it using the blue window cleaner and a paper towel. You want to remove all debris from it. It wants to be perfectly clean, nothing left on the surface of the part. Next, I will get another paper towel. This one I will carefully fold so as to have a piece that is about half the size of the headlight itself. I apply acetone liberally to this paper towel. It is saturated with it. It, ha it drips, as a matter of fact. And I apply one pass across it, then another pass. We're done. Next. Just to make sure that no acetone got on the paint and may cause a, the paint any problems, spray it with a window cleaner and just wipe it off. This is how I can restore a headlight in about three minutes. And now for the sciencey part about why the headlights look so bad in the first place, why this process works so fast, how long should this restoration last? First of all, why do my headlights look so bad? This is because the headlights are made out of a material called polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is susceptible to UV light. It degrades in it. Where's the best source of UV light? It's the sun. So if a car is left outside over a period of five or six years, you can see how that could happen. Car manufacturers put a coating on the headlight to prevent the UV light from affecting the plastic. However, this coating is only intended to last so long. After that, it degrades as well. And so that's why you get this appearance of fog on the headlight. Not only has the coating degraded, but also some of the polycarbonate has de degraded as well. That coating has to come off so that the polycarbonate can be restored to its original clear condition. In order to take that coating off, you must sand it off. Now you can use 500 grit sandpaper, you can use even finer sandpaper if you want. It depends on how tough that coating is. The more degraded the coating is, the easier it is to t take it off. Once you're through that coating, now you can start the process with the steel wool on the polycarbonate. Why does this process work so fast? This is because the acetone is literally melting the surface of the polycarbonate headlight. Once that melts, it flows out into a smooth surface and now has clarity again. How long should this restoration last? 
It depends on the environment that it's put into. If it is left outside all the time in direct sunlight, it will last anywhere from six months to a year before the polycarbonate starts to degrade again. And then you just go ahead and do the process once more. If you garage the car, if you keep it out of the sun, then it will last much, much longer. If you wish the restoration to last longer than one year or a little bit longer, you must put a coating on the headlight itself. There are many coatings out there available. Clear paint works well, but it will degrade as well. I personally prefer to leave it as it is. And then once a year, do the wipe. I'm done. Just that easy. Hi, thanks for watching our channel. Please, if you have any suggestions for any videos you'd like us to do, especially maybe RV repair or some type of dog grooming, please leave them in the comments below.